My friends, we are in for a real treat. That amazing voice for the Michigan Wolverines and the Detroit Lions, Jim Brandstatter, is here. I am so honored and thrilled <laughs> to have you joining me. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm great, Colette. Thank you very much for having me. Of course. I'm delighted. Friends, as you can see by this football helmet that sits on my desk, I bleed maize and blue, of course. Not only the listen to this, Jim Brandstatter has played <laughs> Michigan football and was a champion. He was a voice of the maize and blue football team for 43 years and the Detroit Lions for 31 years. Jim, you're a legend and a cl in a class of your own, that is for sure. So what is it like, Jim, being the voice? <laughs> Well, thank you very much for that. It, it, it's not something I think you aspire to. It's you do your job and, and you get associated with the University of Michigan and the fact that I played there. Uh, I was, you know, good friends and hosted a show with yeah. Coach Schembechler and Coach Ooh. Carr, and Coach Moeller, and, and even on up to Coach Harbaugh. You get associated with the program and everybody that watches thinks you're the conduit to the inside. And so that's kind of how you get the voice of Michigan football in there, and it's something that I am deeply uh, appreciative of. Oh my goodness, and when you think of Michigan football on air, you think of Jim. When you think of the Lions, your voice, Jim, is what we hear in our minds. How do you respond to super fans like myself? Thank them. I, 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 I'm very grateful that you hung with me all those years that I was there, and uh, the fact that you stayed with me meant that I was doing something right. Sure does. You know, Jim, I love that you're sharing your insights into Michigan football with the world. Jim's latest audiobook is titled Voices of Michigan Stadium, U of M Wolverine Football History, told by the legends who made it. So tell us, Jim, about this unique way that you're sharing Michigan football with us all. I have decided to retire, and I knew I had all of these audio clips from all of the years that I did Michigan football. I thought that would be fun during retirement. I'll cut them up, and now with technology, you can clean them up. There's audio editing systems that are online. And so I created this book called Voices of Michigan Stadium, and the unique part of it is the actual voices of the Bo Schembechers, the Desmond Howards, the Ron Johnsons, back to the day oh of the legends of Michigan in the 1940s and 50s, like Bob Chappius oh. and Ron Kramer. I even have the guy that scored the first touchdown ever at Michigan Stadium oh in 1927. And you have to tell us, Jim, how can we all get more information and get your audiobook and all of your other works that you've done as well? Well, thank you very much. You can get it at, you can go to jimbrandcenter.com and right on the homepage there, there's a, a place for where you can buy the audiobook and you can buy the, uh, it's also out in paperback. Oh. So the, the, the paperback's okay. But uh, I urge everyone to get the audio version yes. because the audio version, you actually hear the emotion yes. of the voices of these great names. Before you sign off, I have to know your thoughts on the Michigan Wolverine sign stealing investigation. You have so uh, much expertise and so much knowledge and insight. What are, you, what are your thoughts? On I that? appreciate that question. And I, I think it's a, a much ado about nothing, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, this is the first time anything is ever done in regards to sign stealing across the spectrum of collegiate football. And that by itself should tell you that this isn't something that is, you know, uh, mainstream. Yes. And I just think it's the last gasp of the NCAA trying to stay relevant. Uh, and before everybody jumps off the cliff, let's wait till the facts are in. Jim, thank you so much for your insight. And I have to ask you before you go, how about those Lions? They're looking pretty good. Hey, the Lions are the real deal. Uh, I, I, after they beat the Raiders the other night, uh, their offensive line and their defensive line makes that team so much better. And, and I think they are. I think they're one of the six top teams in the NFC. I believe they'll host a playoff game this year. They're that good. If they don't get an injury, a key injury, this team, I think, will host a playoff game at Ford Field for the first time time since I think 91 when I was actually broadcasting the games. Ooh, I am with you. I love it. Go Lions. You have made listening to the Wolverines and the Lions a joy. You are loved and appreciated. Jim, thank you so much from one Wolverine to another. Thank you. Go Blue, Jim. Go Blue. <laughs> Appreciate you so much. If you would have any ideas, my friends, on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PMNews at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 p.m. News Spotlight.